sun is out at last. The wind's dropped. Anyway, bike pack, bike check number three. My bow tie bike, bike packer. I've already done a bit of a video on this, but I just thought now the sun's out. I'm doing a bike check on a few bikes I've got because we haven't got an awful lot to do. We can't go too far because I'm just outside the shop. As you can see, there's a shop over there. I'm in the car park, so we're, it's just my, myself and my wife here today. We've got the place to ourselves, so it's just not far from where we live. So we just come down here rather than sit twiddling our thumbs. So I thought I'd just go through this bike once more. It's fully laden now. I've got all my kit in, as if I was going to go now. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is some snacks in there. There's not much point in putting those in at the moment, but those two packs there are for snacks. But everything else is in here. I've got my uh, puffer jacket in my beer bag stash pack on the front. My MSR Hubba Hubba tent in the bag in the front. GoPro Joby tripod mount for a GoPro uh, Garmin 520 Plus um, for navigating. I'm running full hope on this bike now at last. So I've got hope brakes, tech twos. Um, chosen grips are gusset s2 i love these um, grips are a funny thing i didn't really you know you get all how can you get excited about some rubber on thing but the way they designed these with the with more meat on the top than the bottom i don't know if you can see that but there's not so much underneath the rubber is mainly on the top for cushioning so it does give you cushioning and underneath here there's some little ribs for your fingers to catch to so it's a really effective grip it's quite well thought out and i'll see a few others other companies now sort of copying that idea. Um, I've got a Topi pack on the top here. Uh, I've got a power pack. This is where my phone will go. I've got a little compass in here. I've got cables, some spares. Um, that's essential. That goes everywhere with me now. I've um, got my WeCog bag, frame bag, which in the top I've got food, coat, spare jacket, uh, water filter, I've got a few of spork and even a toy for meals and space for more stuff. Let's shut that up. In the bottom I've got tools, tool pack, there's a dry bag there with some other stuff in. Um, just basically first aid kit, all kinds of stuff in there that I need. The weighty stuff in there is in the bottom. Uh, I've got water bottles on, two on the front. So two on uh, cages on the front, two four bottles, and another one stashed underneath. Uh, in future, I've got another, obviously we do these titanium frames to order, and I'm going to put an extra bottle mount there, because you can get a bottle there quite easily, and it misses the front tyre. So I'm going to put another bottle mount there. So we've got two on the down tube, which could basically mean you wouldn't have to run um, anything on your forks what you don't want to do is make the steering too heavy but this is riding all right i've been off you know off over the bumpy stuff on this and it's absolutely fine titanium frame helps it's nice and comfy uh lightweight obviously and um just built to last hope cranks hope evos um boost chain ring fat bikes benefit from a boost running a boost chain ring just gives you that little bit more clearance over the over the tire on the back uh like i say 177 rear end uh, 12 speed drivetrain from SRAM GX. Probably not my preferred group set. I may well change this before I do too much. Wheels are obviously a bit special. These are head uh, carbon rims. Uh, the best things you can get, really. These things are just weigh nothing. 410 grams the rim. Um, I have, you can crack them. I mean, we have broken some, and there is a company. Um, in the Midlands that will repair them for about £80 because we have had one repaired and it's absolutely fine, it's running again. Um, these are these are fine. I run the tyres. At the moment they're running hard, way harder than I would normally. These are about 12 PSI. I normally run about 6. But if I'm going to do some decent mileage I thought I'd run them just a little bit harder. The back tyre is something you've probably not seen before. It's uh, from Terravale and it's the Coronado. It's 26 by 4 uh, tubeless ready, extremely well made, these tyres, it's got a light and supple casing, um, really impressed with these, but, and there is a big but, the tread is very much summer, I don't imagine this would be much cop in the mud, so it's, it's aimed at gravel, because it's, it's based around there, 29 by 3 gravel tyres, it's got exactly the same tread, that tyre is excellent, um, so this is really like a fat gravel tyre, so 
for our country it's really quiet uh, this bike is quiet on the road normally on a fat bike you can hear it like a tractor coming in this just doesn't make a lot of noise at all this is quite an effective tire um, it's got you know that's got enough grip it's not bold by a long way um, better than I, I would say it would wear a lot better than say jumbo gym it's a similar weight almost the same weight as jumbo gym so yeah um, something to look into we do stock these um, we have to special order them because uh, it's not the most popular tire in the world they don't run on the front you cannot put this on the front because it self steers I don't know why could it, I don't know if it's the, the type of tread pattern but it really does self steer so when you turn it it pulls really viciously so don't I can't run it on the front I've got a pair so uh, my chosen tire on the front is in Surly Edna it's a bit bigger it's a 4.3 yeah 4.3 inch tire it's got a ramp knob so if you can see that the, these center knobs are ramped so again this is a quiet tire it's got loads of side grip great for off camber stuff so um, I really love Edna's so uh, anyway I think I've covered about everything uh, yeah frames are made to order if you want one they cost 1600 pounds titanium we make them in 177 by 12 rear end or 197 we can make them in either uh, you, we can do this bike with a gearbox if you want one so that's basically the type in it's basically the same bike but with a gear with a titanium uh, sorry with a pinion gearbox me personally this is my favorite setup good trusty set of gears and uh, yeah that's about it really oh and I don't know if I mentioned in the back um, I've got my sleeping bag mat pillow spare set of clothes I've also got a jet ball uh, stove in there. Um, I'm using a, this, these are good, this stabiliser from uh, Elk Kit. It just clamps into your seat, XO rail. Clamps under the rail, comes with an extra clamp. So you've got two clamps in your seat, on top of your seat post. Just stops the bag wagging around, keeps it stable. So I'm running a Pro Logo NDR saddle. Love this, this type of saddle. Really, really comfy. So comfy, I don't even wear padded shorts anymore. So either my ass has got super tough or that saddle's working, one or the other. Could be the former, I suppose. Right, okay, that's about it. Just thought I'd um, show you how it's turned out. And um, I'm going to pop back over there now and perhaps have a cup of tea. Right, catch you all soon. As again, as I said, stay safe. Try not to go out unless you have to. I'm just here. I could be out in the hills because the Cranham Hills are just behind that building. All the trails of Cranham go for miles. They're all up there. I dare say there's people up there riding, but I just... I just don't want to, I just, I just don't feel I should be, so um, I'm going to get my exercise around here and just, we'll just have to bide our time till things get better. Okay, stay safe people, catch you later.